All right. So this is what I have done so far. First thing first, I have renamed the default uh, site to on-premise. And I have assigned subnet 192.168.1.0 to this on-premise site. Because as we know, 192.168.1.0 network is our on-premise network, right? And then I have created another AD site called Azure. And Microsoft Azure, as you can see right now, there is no domain controller there. Just I defined a site. And I have created another subnet called 172.16.1.0, which I know is a subnet we are targeting. And I have assigned this subnet to Microsoft Azure site. So we have created two AD sites, on-premise and Azure. And on-premise, we have a domain controller called DC. And here we will be provisioning another domain controller called DC2. And of course, in order to provision a domain controller, what we need? We need a virtual machine or VM or a server. So let's move to Microsoft Azure again. And virtual machines. I have two options. Before creating a virtual machine, I can create a storage account where storage account and I can choose a blob, page blob, and I can use my VMDK. I can store my VMDK there, or I can use a managed service for VMDK. So for here, what I would like to do, I would like to use the managed option. So I will create add or create a virtual machine and resource group, it's fine. Virtual machine name will be DC2 and region is fine, image would be Windows Server 2016 data center. Size, I would like to change size to this one. One vCPU, two gigs of RAM. I think that should be enough for testing. Um, username, uh, I will say, IT sense admin password okay inbound rule for firewall public inbound rule yes I would like to allow RDP And yeah, uh, I think that's fine. Uh, okay, uh, no, actually what I would like to do, I, I don't want to allow public. Uh, actually, we don't have to. So uh, what I will do, we will do RDP from our on-premise network rather than from the internet network. So no need to do that. So let's move to next on disk. Premium SSD selected. I don't want that. I want standard HDD and I want to use the managed disks. And here I can create a new one new storage account um, okay a little bit of a difficulty setting up a real estate yeah okay new storage account I will say IT sense storage one and type is storage general purpose is fine performance is standard locally redundant yeah it's all good 
Oh. Sorry. I have a habit of using special, I mean, cap, capital letters, but here capital letters is not allowed. So story journal purpose version one or version two, we can choose. Uh, yeah, so what about version two? Version two is fine. Click OK and additional disk. We don't need it. Next networking. And this machine will be an Azure network. Yes. Subnet will be a DR subnet. Public IP address. We don't need it. Network security group is basic. Public inbound port are none. Select inbound ports because it's none for public. So that's fine. Next for the management. Mm, all good. Guest config. I don't need for any. Don't want to define any tags. And I would say create. Validation tests had already been passed, and now it's creating this VM. So if we go to virtual machine, it will be showing that will be provisioning. Uh, it will take time. So it, it may appear here shortly while it because it's still doing the processing, it's creating the storage account and all that. And we will be able to see VM here shortly. Here it is. As you can see, the status is creating. While it's creating, what I will do, I will pause the video and I will be back when it's done.